Hey, what's up guys? Keaton here. So welcome back to the second episode of Weird Shopping. This time we're back at Toys R Us. So many of you guys love the first one. So I got an unlimited budget. We're gonna head on in and see what kind of weird toys, products, and gadgets we can find. Let's go. Guys, the first item that I found is a fidget ball. I gotta find out more on what this is all about. Like, twist it, turn it, fidget, $15, sure. They must have saw the last video, the first video from Toys R Us. The headset is on sale, 20 bucks. This is Simon Says that you can wear on your face. No joke, Toys R Us has some of the greatest gadgets I've ever seen. So I'm looking around Toys R Us right now and I found a paper airplane that is not actually a paper airplane. All right, it doesn't even say paper on here, but this is like an airplane that somehow flies. It really flies, it even says it on the back. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I can't believe this, but I found an Instagram cam. Sure, Hollow Kitty's on it, 20 bucks? Like, stories over 100 photos. Sure, we're gonna check it out. I saw this at the last Toys R Us. I gotta keep my voice down, always in these stores. I talk too loud, they get mad at me. But, it's an Aquabot. I wanna see how these work. You tap on tank to wake up fish, like, this gadget, pretty cool. I'm still on the hunt for some gadgets here. I'm just looking in like the matchbox aisle, toy car aisle. Let me just get, let me just get a postal service truck. I would have loved this as a kid. Just a postal service truck. Deliver your mail. I mean, it is, it is legit. I just found this at Toys R Us. I know the music's so loud. This is a hoverboard. It goes like five miles an hour. Check it. You know the RC cars that you'd see you can sit and you drive it as a kid? They made a hoverboard. No joke, so I just did some Googling. I really wanted the Dareway hover rider scooter, whatever you want to call it. It's like a Segway meets a hoverboard. But I just looked on Google, the max weight is 88 pounds. I'm a little too big of a kid. That's pretty much what I was told. This aisle has been amazing. I found so many good gadgets here. For starters, we got this one here. It's a pump action bear target. You get it in its mouth and it'll bring it down to the bottom. I'm gonna call this just a shooter Nerf gun. Then we got this drone thing from Despicable Me. Kind of like the same drone I checked out before. This time it's a horse, yeah. And then since we already got the shooter gun, we're gonna get the desktop one. You can put this on your desk. Toys R Us blows my mind every time I'm here. So if you guys have seen my camera roll before, you know it's popping. We got Snap Pet. A, a way you can take photos of your pets. It's like a little camera here. The pictures of this look insane. We're of course checking this out. In the first episode where we were at five and below, you guys remember that iPad case that you can color on. Now we got speakers that just show color. Yeah, they just show color. But you can customize the color yourself. All right, I gotta find out more. Sweet, so we got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go check out now, head back to the studio, and we're gonna see how all this stuff actually works and any of it sucks. Guys, every time I come back from Toys R Us, I'm just so blown away at how much good stuff they got. We just got five of the items here, but there is so many good items. The first thing that I wanna check out though is this unicorn flying drone. I checked out a drone at Toys R Us originally, and this drone was a circular drone. I don't know if you guys remember the video. Definitely check it out if you haven't. But the drone game at Toys R Us is popping. It's insane. So I picked up this Despicable Me unicorn drone, not really thinking much of it. It's a weird gadget for sure, but what this thing can do, it's insane. It's a hand-controlled drone. There's no remote. It says it's even foot-controlled, which I kind of want to know about. Even a minion can use it? All right, sure. We just got to open this and see. So it says on the back here, this is before I even got it turned on, the drone just takes off and can detect objects around it using proximity sensors. That's insane. We're about to try this out and see how this goes. If you want to check out anything in this video, I'll leave a link down below to it. Oh, that's the on and off button. What did I hit on there then? So easy a minion can use it. M maybe I'm just dumber than a minion? I don't really know. All right, it's on for sure. So you just hold, whoa! You guys see, it just took off. It flies itself. It detects objects around it. What? I'm gonna try to use my hand to get it closer to us. No, no. How, it says it can detect objects. 
I've crashed the drone again. No shock there. All right, we got it going. I'm just, I want to keep it here. I'm just going to put my hands right here and I'm going to slowly move them. I'm like trying to, all right, it's just doing its own thing. This is the coolest thing ever. Toys R Us in their drone game, I tell ya. Next up is an item that I specifically went back for. I loved it in the original video, now we got it here. It's an Aquabot, and what it says is, it's an animal and a smart, it's pretty much a smart fish. I don't know how, I was gonna say it's an animal, it's a fish, you know, kind of give it a little better credit than it's a smart fish. So, basically all you do is you just drop it in some water, and it comes alive and it'll start swimming, so let's try that out. And you get batteries included. Oh, I, just, I just ripped his tail off. So basically, this is a fish here, and the minute you drop it in water, it comes alive. So I'm gonna open up my cereal jar that I just filled up with water. We're gonna see how this goes. Swim free, little buddy. What, no! Yo! You can hear him making noise. It's not that smart. It's like, there's no food there, man. Yo, it's trapped. It's trapped, no. I'm sorry, I don't have a fish tank. It's all right, here, I'll help you. Okay, wow, that helped him. He's doing his thing again. That works, it, that, that thing swim, swimming right back to where, it was swimming fast at one point. So yeah, it works, just make sure you have an actual fish tank or it's pretty dumb as a smart fish. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in the first episode when I was at five and below, if you haven't checked out the video, click right up there or first link down in the description. Basically, I found this Crayola iPad case that you could actually like draw on. It's crazy. I happened to find something else made by Crayola at Toys R Us. These are the Toys R Us Crayola speakers. They're not actually called that, but they're wireless and they got Bluetooth. I wanna check it out. It looks pretty fun and colorful just judging on the box. Just judging by the box here. Oh, whoa, that just that just happened. Okay, so these are the speakers, and they're pretty cool because when you turn them on, I'm gonna turn them on right here. They power on their Bluetooth, and basically when your music's playing, water's gonna shoot up. They look pretty cool. They seem pretty cool, but what's interesting is there's only one power button on one of these speakers, so if you unplug this cable, it's not wireless. That's kind of what I'm trying to tell you guys. You literally need a cable to connect both speakers or you get one wireless speaker. So basically they hook up with Bluetooth. I already got it paired to my phone. We're gonna see how these sound. We're at full volume. No, something definitely feels different about you, babe. Like, why does one of the speakers throw water up in the air, but the other doesn't. Just look. We're getting nothing. Is there any water trap? Okay, there we go. Well, basically that's pretty disappointing. Only one of the two speakers works, and the one that works is the one you need the cable to use. That's, that's pretty sad. This next thing kind of seems a little interesting. It's called a Snap Pet, and basically you can take photos from a little plastic animal, and they sync up to your phone. I don't really know, but it's got Bluetooth, and it says it's smart. So of course we gotta check this out. So basically, this is your Snap Pet, and this little guy has a button at the top that I think when you just, oh, it lights up already. When you just press it, it takes a photo or a video, all right, let's check this out. So there's an app you need to get installed. I got it here, it's called Snap Pets. Ready, set, selfie. So this is basically for kids or if you just don't wanna carry around a phone, just carry around your Snap Pet. My only question is, what pet is this? It looks like a penguin meets a dog, a pog. Wait, no, that's actually a thing. Pogs are actually a thing. So one of the ways that you can use this is, I gotta get my Snap Pet all paired. You can actually just use it as the app shows the cameras you guys just saw right there. So basically, to use this, you just click the button at the top. Loading images from Snap Pet. And bam, just like that, I just took a photo 
on a penguin dog animal? I don't really know what it's about. Another thing you can do is actually set a timer on the Snap Pet. It's all done with an app and there's a bunch of other features. So I'm gonna set a timer of 10 seconds. It's gonna set it down right there. Oh, and you can see on the app, the countdown timer. All right, it took the photo. And it all comes into the app and you can obviously save these photos, share them, do whatever you want. Dude, the stuff you find at Toys, literally, bam. Doesn't look that bad of a photo. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments how these look. The fifth thing that I got was this Nerf Ball desktop catapult shooter. This thing is perfect for my desk. I just had to check it out. So I didn't think balls came with it. I don't really know why when I was shopping. So I ended up picking up this bear version that has a gun you could just shoot into his mouth, comes right down. But it turns out there's balls included, so that's awesome. I got it all set up, and what's sweet about this is there's suction cups. Like, this is perfect. If there's only one thing you pick up from this entire list, if you have a desk, which everyone does, get this. This looks like so much fun. It's got suction cups so you can stick it down and your fort isn't going anywhere. Six balls, like uh, five balls now. And I'm gonna see how far these things really launch. Comment down below right now, how many of you think I'm gonna knock down? I got eight Nerf, that is not eight. Where is your math coming from? I got 10 Mountain Dew cans all set up here. Comment down below letting me know how many of you guys think I'm actually gonna knock down. I think I'm gonna at least get four, but we're gonna see. So we got the catapult launcher right here. You just put the ball down, super easy. Nestles right on in, then you just cock it back. Oh wow, my, whoa. That just happened so fast. I'm gonna shoot one back there so you guys see how quick these launch and how far they go. Oh my, yo, if you bring this to an office or anything, like you can hit everyone. I don't think I'm gonna get a single can. I'm gonna have to like lob it. Whoa, all right, we were a little close there. Uh, that was the closest I could get. These things say they launch up to 25 feet and I believe it. All right, I'm gonna do like a little lob. No, that was a, I got it in the bucket. That's pretty cool. All right, just a little lob. That was four. That was four, one, two, three, and four. This thing launches so far. The bonus item is this ultralight airplane kit. I picked it up and I was like, how does this actually go down? Like, there's no way. This is just a better paper airplane and there's nothing better than a paper airplane. So when you pick it up, you're gonna get this kit inside. It's super easy, you can set it up. I just happened to already set one of these up. Like in this guide here, it's actually pretty sweet. You can set up four different types of airplanes and it teaches you a lot on how to like set it up. It took me like five, 10 minutes to do, no big deal. But this is the airplane that I made. It's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Like a paper airplane is pretty small. This thing's about like the size of two full length paper airplanes. So you got your wings here, everything. Everything pretty much just clicks in. And this thing is supposed to fly for a very long and far distance. So I'm gonna go test that outside. I don't think I'll be able to do it here. I'm just gonna hit the wall. So let's go outside. I'm outside right now, getting ready to test this. I think it's probably best that I came outside just so I don't hit a wall and this thing can actually fly. Just remember here, I'm a YouTuber, not an aerospace engineer. I don't know who's screaming, but let's fly it. Here we go, first test flight. Not bad. It says if it flies up too fast, adjust the wing and move it back. So I'm moving it back. We're gonna see how this goes. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't look balanced. It seems like it's a little too long. I followed the instructions on how to build it. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like with a little wind, she's gonna fly forever. Shout out time, I wanna give a huge shout out to David's Vlogs and Tran for having my notifications on. If you guys wanna make sure you don't miss the next episode of Five Weird Gadgets, turn them on on your phone and computer and let me know in the comments so I can give you guys a shout out. Subscribe so you don't miss it and just tweet me at TextMart if you guys find any of the weird gadgets. I'm gonna stay flying now. Bye! Oh, that was actually good. I can make you ask.